This video is for educational purposes only. Transmitting any of the signals covered in this video is illegal and can land you in jail. Just listening to these signals is cheaper and legal. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Farah and in today's video, I wanted to do something new. After doing web security for over five years, I wanted to learn a new area of security that was completely unrelated to web security. I was given a challenge to hack a plane. London has six major airports and plane spotting is very easy because of how busy the airspace is. Sites like Flightreader allow you to track any plane in the world and there was a Twitter account called Elon Jet that would post updates about Elon Musk's personal plane and Elon offered him $5,000 to take his account off Twitter. When he refused, Elon just banned him and I wanted to learn how these sites work because I can still find Elon's jet on Flightradar. ADSB, Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast. This is the technology that planes use to send updates like their location and their speed to nearby ATC ground offices or to nearby aircrafts. This data is encoded but it's not encrypted which means that anyone can read it. The planes have transmitters integrated in them. These constantly update important information about the plane like its altitude, its velocity, the GPS location. Then on the other side we have receivers receivers. These receivers could be on the ground ATC offices or they could be on nearby airplanes and these are designed to capture the signals that are from the nearby aircrafts. It's like tuning into a radio station but instead of music you are tuning into these signals transmitted by the planes. Coverage of these signals is limited to 250 to 450 kilometers and the ADSB receivers operate on specific frequencies. So the most common one is 1090 megahertz. In the US, they operate on a slightly different frequency. So 978 megahertz and they also call it a bit differently UAT, which is universal access transceiver. These frequencies are like the channels you tune into on a radio station and you need a radio to be able to listen to these frequencies. Your normal FM radio doesn't work because its range is limited to 80 to 108 megahertz you need somewhere around 978 to 1090 megahertz you can get an sdr from websites like aliexpress timo for 30 pounds and this is going to allow you to listen from 500 kilohertz all the way up to 1.7 gigahertz and i'll attach a buying guide down in the description so you can see what's the best fit for you and choose to buy the device accordingly you can also get a more expensive hack rf and this is also capable of transmitting radio frequencies once you have your SDR plugged into your laptop, you can use any of these softwares and once we detect an ADSB signal, we are going to decode it using RTL 1090. This is a software that I tried to install on my Mac, but it had some problems. I know it does perfectly work with Linux and Windows. Okay, so we have the spectrum analyzer here on the SDR++ and we are also tuned into the frequency 1090. So we just have to look at the spectrum analyzer and see what looks like an ADSB signal. Signal. And I think this one here with the red line you can see that looks like an ADSB signal. So we need to decode what that is. I also have the portable version right here which has the decoder installed in it. So I don't actually need the software to get the data. So let's go to the park and we can try to capture some ADSB signals. I'm here at the park with this portable hack RF and it can do so much that I can actually just come here with it and see the data for plane. So first I go and receive. Then we just go to ADSB and it's going to decode all the signals automatically. So you're going to see like plane data come in immediately. This is the flight code. You can see their details like their speed, amplitude and we are we can also spot them on the map. And this green thing here means that you can spot them on the map. So let's see. This one is Ryanair. See on map. And you can see it's, it's actually pretty away from like the city of London and London so that's actually a good range of data that we are getting if we zoom in we can see like it's actually going away from us so that's pretty cool to see it's not in the airspace even like above me it's somewhere away okay that was fun but I could have gotten all of this data from flight radar uh, there was another thing that I found interesting which is how do pilots talk to each other and how do they talk to ATC using their voice Turns out they are using unencrypted AM radio and they tune into a specific frequency. This depends on what airspace they are in. If we also tune into that frequency, we should be able to capture those signals and listen to their voice. So let's go to the park and try that again. 
So the second challenge for today is to try to listen to some of the pilots communicating with each other, like with their voice. So for that, the setup on the HackerF looks quite different. Uh, we first have to go on the audio and we also will have to change to AM here. So let's do that. That's it. I'm going to tune into the frequency where you can listen to it. One, one, eight. That's it. Now we click done. You have to be really patient with this because it comes and goes in bits. So it's not a constant line of communication. Okay, this was a great challenge for me overall. I feel like I pushed myself out of my comfort zone of web hacking and learned something new about different frequencies and radio hacking. And I do want to continue exploring more use cases of this device. So let me know if you have any ideas of videos you want me to make with the HackRF. And I will see you in the next one. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because more videos are coming. And thank you for watching. Bye.